Previously on The Great Ace Attorney. I will report this to Captain. Be ready for punishment. It's punishment time! <laughs> Monokuma is piling the ship. Hey, what seems to be the problem here, huh? Little furry bear man. That strange goggle man over there, he beast up the ship. So, I don't give a f I'm not even the real captain. Did you notice I killed him and took his spot? Mm, I thought you just got shorter, Captain. Your ears more round. That's because you're all idiots on this ship! God! I don't even speak Russian, you dumbass! And now, back to grunting at people! Hey! Sneako B, back with some more of the Great Ace Attorney. When we last left off, we completed case two of the game, and you know what? That case was actually really good. That was a massive step up from case one for me. Uh, it introduced a whole bunch of interesting new gameplay mechanics, uh, a bunch of new interesting characters. The actual plot itself was interesting. I liked how at the end, this you know this whole thing was not a uh, violent act of murder of you know with hate-filled vengeance or anything. It was just a mistake, you know? Like, an accident. A number of different accidents or and misunderstandings. And, you know, the person who killed somebody felt really bad about it. I don't think she intended probably to even kill him, you know? I think she probably just wanted to, like, just, just stop him from doing whatever he was about to do. But he just happened to fall in a way that ended up snapping his neck, basically. But it was it was good. I, I really liked that. And it's got me a lot more excited, honestly, about this game. By the way, I asked you guys before, uh, how many cases does this game, ha game have? Uh, it does actually have five, um, and you guys did also sort of point out that this game is sort of different than the other games in, in that it's actually DGS1 and DGS2 are actually duologies of one another, meaning that it's not even so much like a, I mean, the game is a sequel, DGS2, but it's all part of the same kind of story, meaning that I'm going to bet that more than likely this game's going to end with probably a very large cliffhanger. And usually, Ace Attorney games don't do that, right, in between games. You don't usually have, like, a big cliffhanger or something that like, feels unresolved. And I, so I'm guessing that's probably what the main difference is here. Meaning that, uh, despite me, pro like, I mean, I'm sure this investigation or this case is probably where we're going to run into our rival, right? And I'm imagining then uh, maybe he'll be our rival in the second game as well, right? Like, that's why it, it, he's only showing up in the third case as opposed to the second case. And while it doesn't seem like much, if he ends up being the rival in the second game, then yeah, he's going to show up quite a bit. That's my assumption. I, I don't really know for certain, but that's what I'm piecing together. But I do want to say, last episode was, uh, you guys had so many good comments. Like, there were so many both funny comments, uh, informative comments, and it was just, it was really really hard to pick a uh, comment of the day for this episode it really was like I went through I, I just I kept bringing comments I was just laughing my ass off you guys were really fucking on your game last episode all right I'm proud of you I'm freaking proud of you <laughs> seriously you guys are too goddamn funny sometimes and I also learned a lot too like I said there were a ton of uh, very informative comments talking about you know dissecting what made that case so interesting is so great such as apparently you know you guys were saying how uh, you know Apollo and Naruto are a bit different you know, like, especially I think that moment when he said shut up to Holmes was like, oh, yeah, no, Apollo never would have done that. You're right. He absolutely never would have done that. And I actually really like that because that's something actually we never saw really from Phoenix or Apollo when these guys were just like talking their fucking asses off. You never saw him be like, shut the fuck up. <laughs> that was pretty cool. I like that. He does have a bit bits and pieces of uh, different personalities kind of put into him, into Naruhodo. But that was good. That was actually a, that that line of its in of itself was actually a massive boost in my uh, respect in uh, enjoying Naruto. So, but okay. So I have all the comments. I, I finally settled on Tire Blueberries comment, who last episode said, "If Nikamina didn't push Asoki, Asoki opens closet. This is my sinner, bitch. We are going on a honeymoon to London. Please don't snitch." <laughs> yes, yes. This is the alternate universe. If he hadn't died, that's exactly what would have happened. <laughs> I'm just imagining him saying, actually saying, this is my son of bitch. We're going on our honeymoon to London. Please don't snitch. <laughs> and then Anika is like, oh, this is so cute. Ah, oh, so cute. I was supposed to tell anybody about it. It's okay. We have her secret, and now she has ours. We have a mutual understanding. <laughs> I, read, I read that comment. I laughed so fucking hard. I laughed for like fucking five minutes straight. Goddamn it, Tired Blueberries. I also like your username, too. <laughs> tired Blueberries. <laughs> my Blueberries are tired. Oh... <laughs> uh, Tire Blue Bears. Seriously, your hilarious comment. And it, it, with such stiff competition, all right, you should be very proud of yourself for being this episode's <coughs> comment of the day. Oh, man. It was like, like I said, you guys, seriously, the, those comments, it was really not easy. You know, it's occasionally some episodes, it's sometimes it can be hard to find like a really good one. And then other times, you guys like bombard the episode with just like amazing comments. And I'm like, oh, fuck, what do I do? <laughs> Making my laugh hard. But okay, so we're on to episode three. 
um, the Runaway Room. And I think now, hopefully we're now beyond Naruhodo being uh, framed for murder again. I'm hoping so. I mean, seeing now that he's he's learning to become a lawyer, I'm guessing he's just, he's just going to, you know, now that he's being taught by Suzuto and probably getting help from Holmes too, he's going to uh, not be capable and I guess have the ability to represent other people. I mean, right? I, I mean, like, I, I need my pin, right? I need my chrono badge, don't, don't I? Can I dig it off of Sogi's dead lifeless body? Do I still need classes? I, I don't know. I'll be curious to see what they go with that. But I think it looks like we're going to be uh, heading to Jolly Old England, which I'm going to probably means the new uh, judge and uh, courtroom scene. I don't know if the entire game's going to take place there. But uh, anyway, all right, let's do it. Right away, we're at room. Let's get started. You going to start us off some fucking animu, baby? Oh, oh maybe another Sherlock Holmes tale. You guys did say that uh, a lot of these are actually loosely based off of. Yeah. 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 一体誰が想像しただろうか。この単純極まりない事件が。あのような恐ろしい結末を迎えることになろうとは。我が友シャロックホームズはあの事件を振り返ってこう言った。思えばあの事件こそは序曲だったのかもしれないね。忘れがた
But no, actually, that doesn't even make sense either. Because then, if if he was already dead, then who wrote that thing? I don't know. I like. I thought that those were kind of a sort of breaking the fourth wall, just just a, a tale from the Holmes uh, stories, and it wasn't really going to be necessarily. Uh, I mean, like to sort of set our expectations, right? Now we expect it to be a snake, and for that to be like the the true culprit, when it it really isn't. So subverting our expectations. But then this time was actually. They actually made references to Naruto and stuff, and so it just it just seemed to change the mold a bit, which so kind of caught me off guard. Um, all right, February eighteenth, uh, nine twenty-one a.m. High Court of Justice, Chief Justice's office. What an impressively huge room! How do I put this? The ambience here is incredibly overwhelming. It's almost suffocating. I know. God, look at the cogs. Are we in? Are we inside Big Ben right now? Almost feels like a stronghold. I think we are. It's been decades since Japan opened its doors to the world. As of late, stone buildings are becoming more commonplace in our country as well, but the off seeing the real thing up close is completely different, isn't it? Everything here feels alien compared to the houses made of wood and paper in Japan. You're right about everything feeling alien, but. I'm pretty sure there's more to it than just the difference of our country's architecture. So, what is this place? We are at the British Empire's High Court of Justice. This is the Lord Chief Justice's office. Lord Chief, Chief Justice, I see. That all going according to plan. Our country's exchange students would, could have come here to report their arrival today. But asogi has gone now. Asogi! Yes, yes he is. As such, all that we can do now is play the role of uh, emissaries. The two emissaries said to report Cosmos' death and nothing more. Emissaries, huh? Well, I'm supposed to be I'm supposed to be the attorney, right? Am I still not quite there yet? I mean, they said that they were expecting an, an attorney. Since these emissaries pass on their message, they must probably return home. Return home? Just like that? What was the point of me studying? <laughs> I guess the point was that they wouldn't they wouldn't let us go to London uh, without someone being an attorney. But I'm not they weren't planning for me to actually stay here. But I'm pretty sure I will be, right? In other words, nor for us to remain in this country. I would have to become the substitute law, law exchange student, correct? Oh. Yes, exchange student must have the qualifications to be an attorney as well. An attorney, right. No pressure, then. The British Empire, it appears that attorneys are appointed by the Lord Chief Justice himself. Oh, okay, here we go. Here now, you must be appointed as such. That is the only chance we have to stay in the Great British Empire. Can I really do this? Um, ah, oh, my friends, I've kept you waiting. Is that, uh, Holmes? Oh, no. Hi. Oh. Um, okay. Uh, man, look at you. You are gallant as shit. Probably some kind of deep, but also british -y. Your journey across the broad ocean from the, the Empire of Japan must have been quite arduous. My apologies. It seems I am one hour, twelve minutes, and forty-seven seconds late to our agreed time. No, no, there's nothing to apologize about. We both love standing here vacantly, just like statues. <laughs> that is good to hear. I am the Lord Chief Justice of the British Empire, Heart Vortex. Heart Vortex, wow. Heart Vortex. Is there a pun in there? It's just a vortex of the heart. Wow, the aura he's giving off is incredible. Naruhoto, this is where you stand firm. Uh, um, is it our to meet you, Lord Chief Justice Vortex, my lord? I hail from the Empire of Japan. My name is Ryodosuke Naruhoto. Master Naruhoto. Welcome to London, cap capital of England. My country cordially welcomes your arrival. Th thank you very much. The bird's flying. What amazing timing. What up, pimp? So, what is your impression of our capital, London? Our capital, London. Uh, well, well, uh, that cat's got my tongue. I'm so nervous I can't remember even a single thing. I must say, sir, it's been truly wonderful. Oh. I have seen the city of London whilst riding on the coach from the railway station. Everything has been so overwhelming, so impressive. Words cannot describe my awe. That is good to hear. 
The railways, water, gas, and communication conduits stretching across the city. They're all state-of-the-art technology. No visitors ever fail to notice their beauty. Yes, indeed. I noticed it all. Wow. You really see me, Suzuto. I noticed it, too. Glad you're here. Most well, people in this city are so bright and happy. It's downright infectious. Agreed. London's been booming as of late, as we're currently preparing for the coming of the World's Fair. World's Fair? Oh, you mean like the Exposition Uni Universelle? Quite. The fruits of all the world's culture and artistry are to be gathered and exhibited here. But you can expect it to eclipse that Parisian trifle. It shall be the greatest World Fair of all. A World's Fair? This is grander than I could have ever imagined. I'm just in awe. That emotion is perfectly apt to describe all of our great nation's capital, London! It's definitely confident about this. <laughs> London! From the oriental land of the rising sun to the great empire in which the sun never sets. It's nothing short of fate that you would journey here. Yeah, man. Woo! -hoo! Go! Red Sox? Uh, Lord Chief Justice Vortex? Regarding the law exchange student. As I recall, Kazuma Sugi was his name. N uh, uh, oh, yes, sir. Our government has already learned about the incident via telegram. He lost his life on board a steamship en route to the Great British Empire, I'm told. I should have guessed that he'd already know about it. Stupid telegrams. My country expresses our deepest condolences to yours. Oh, thank you very much. But surely you didn't travel all this way just to inform me of his death. We did. Come today as emissaries from the Empire of Japan to report his death. I've heard that your country heavily values politeness. I see that to be true. However, I truly regret to say, since the attorney is dead, we have no other option than to hold to this ex this student exchange. Please wait. What is it that you need, young lady? There's something that Ryunosuke Naruhoto here would like to say regarding this matter. Hmm, Master Naruhoto. Here it comes, the moment of truth. It's time. My lord, would it be possible to find some way to continue the exchange process? Of course, our country desires the very same. However, as long as your country's attorney is absent, nothing can be done about it. Th then, what if our country could provide another attorney? What a strange thing to say. Huh? Put the plans, your country should only have sent a single attorney. An attorney by the name of Kazuma Sugi. That's all that I've heard on the matter. About that, this is bad. I can't allow myself to make any outrageous remarks in front of the Lord Chief Justice. Naruhoto? I can mess everything up if I don't choose my words carefully. What do I do? My country has another attorney ready. That attorney is... <gasps> NOT REAL! <laughs> It's Susan! You know what? I, I gotta, I gotta, I gotta do this. I gotta fucking do this. I'm gonna save real quick in case this really fucks saying anything up. That is absolutely Susan! <laughs> of course. What if our Miss Susan here with your replacement attorney? <laughs> uh, what? I've never heard of an introduction like that before. So this young, lovely young lady here is meant to be our defense attorney. Naruhoto, I swear to God, I'm gonna scissor to toss you so hard when we're out of here! Susuto's really devoted herself to her mission. She worked so hard to help me in my studies. I can't betray all of her heartfelt efforts. Sorry, I should stop joking, my lord. I will be the I will be the attorney! Ah, oh, that was me! I'm just kidding! I ended up being nearly as funny as I thought it would be. <laughs> ha! You will. I'll be honest, I'm not qualified for the job. Not qualified? Did you still call yourself an attorney? But I have stood in court as an attorney before. My own. It was just once, though. And Soki was helping me, and I was defendant too. But you know, I was gloss over that. I studied as much as I could for an, our arrival in the Great British Empire on the SS Eclair. 
I studied this country's law and, it, and its trials. The voyage here is about 50 days. That's some light study, if you can even call it that. If you want to qualify as an attorney in Britain, you would need not only a law degree, but also multiple years of practice in an, an inn of court. I know it's far too short of a time to learn everything, but I can't turn the tail and run home now. Not like this. Asogi's journey had only just begun. I came to the British Empire to carry on his will. I know I seem like I'm getting in over my head saying this, but I'll take on any evaluation necessary for means of being recognized as an attorney. Please, I just need one chance. I beg of you. 31 seconds, I see. What? I... That was how long your appeal took, Master Narahodo. Not too short, nor too long. It was perfectly moderate appeal. An attorney needs to needs that kind of intuition. Th thank you. I'll assist your worth with an evaluation. After all, I always enjoy a good show. Huh? Let's make one thing clear, Master Narahodo. S sir You want to carry on a Sogi's will. Is that the absolute truth? Yes, that's what I promised to do. I see. No, but wonder, why did his expression change like that? Very well. As you wish, I will give you one chance. One evaluation, which decides you become an especially appointed attorney. Accept or refuse. R really, sir? Do it. Hit me, baby. So, what will this evaluation consist of? I ask of you, Master Narahodo, what is an attorney's job? That would be to stand in court and plead your client's case, of course. Exactly. Therefore, why don't we have you do just that? Yeah, like a test test trial, basically. Remember, I'm, I'm going to try to defend somebody. I'm, he probably wants me to successfully do it, right? And probably a case that is, I'm, you would be very unlikely to win. Just going to bet. What? This is perfect timing. Conveniently, there's a trial set to start today. But no one has stepped up to accept it at defense, so we've been at a loss. Ah, uh, I see. But in this instance, because in this instance, it looks like it is a, a close and shut case, right? Which is why no one's taking the defensive side, as it sort of put in the uh, uh, that intro there, right? It's, it's going to start today? If you do obtain a full acquittal in this trial, you pass. You couldn't find a more simple evaluation, could you? That's true, but... Could you, perhaps, devil some details about this trial? Hmm. As I recalled, it was... Ah, right. A murder case. M murder Is there any other case in a East Attorney game? Come on. Come now, this is a simple case. There, there's no way you'd lose. He says it so nonchalantly. However, you should be aware that in the worst case scenario, if your defendant happens to be found guilty, he won't be able to avoid his condemnation. C condemnation? You mean the death penalty? In our great British Empire, murder is punishable by hanging. I do expect you. the books you read on your voyage revealed at least this much. Who would approve of such a dangerous evaluation? That's nothing more than playing games with the defendant's life! I, Lord Chief Justice, approved it myself. Would you still call it a game, knowing that? What? That's insane! There's no need to overthink it. All you have to do is avoid defeat. My defense will determine the fate of the defendant. If I fail it, it's death by hanging. Master Narahodo, you call yourself an attorney. Thus, you must show your resolve. Along with your intent to succeed, your dearest friend's will. I hope you can show me the strength of your resolve. My resolve? What now? You don't have anything to say. I'm sorry to say this, but there isn't much time until the trial begins. If you're going to do it, you have to commit to it now. Or you do. What am I supposed to say to such a bizarre proposal? 
No! Alright, the other one wasn't that funny, so let's just, just get on with it. Then I will politely... It's no good. I can't just get... I just can't get the words out! Come on! 15 seconds. There is an issue with how long you took to make your decision. That is yet another important qualification. Oh. Okay. Hmm, yes. This is just as I thought. Huh? Ultimately, this is what your gallant resolve amounts to. I withdraw my offer of an evaluation. Thank you for your report. No, oh, never mind. I shall arrange a boarding ticket for tomorrow. You would do well to return to the Far East. I understand. I'm grateful for the opportunity you gave me, Lord Chief Justice. Naruto. I'm so sorry, Suzuto. There's no need to apologize. I understand your decision, of course. Y you do? In these circumstances, your decision of whether you will stand as an attorney or not. For you, Naruto, this question has nothing to do with the, the matter of resolve. What do you mean by that? What do you mean? Tell me! It's definitely true that I want to be an attorney, no matter what it costs me. But even then, that's no excuse for me to talk about resolve and act as if it justifies risking a defendant's life. That's my opinion on the matter. To the client, their trial means a lot more than some evaluation. I believe that an attorney fights for the client's sake each time they stand in court. But, from the client's point of view, their trial is a single, crucial battle that will decide their fate. I don't think I'm qualified to handle that battle. Thank you for your time, Lord Chief Justice Vortex. Please excuse us. Dead. Wait, Master Naruhodo. Yes? What is it? Traveling from here to the Old Bailey typically takes about 20 minutes by coach. If you leave immediately, you should make it there in time. But, I... Just so you're aware, what I told you earlier was no joke. There truly isn't a single soul who is willing to stand as the accused's defense. What? Should this keep up, the court will proceed in the absence of an attorney. And if that happens, there can be no doubt whatsoever of that. There is nothing at the end of that tunnel but the worst possible conclusion. Th that's absurd! And yet, its verity is undeniable. How could such a situation be allowed to happen? I suggest that you do not assume that all of your inquiries will be provided with a reply. In any case, the only individual with the potential to change the defendant's fate at this point is none other than you. I can say that with the utmost certainty. But that's... Now then, may I ask you a question, young miss? Uh, huh? Y yes, what is it? Under these new circumstances, should one decide to stand as an attorney, who else decline? Personally speaking, I believe that choice would be in indeed a matter of the individual's resolve. Ah. Uh, uh. We will have to end our talk here. It's about time for my conference. I must depart in two minutes and sixteen seconds. And with that, please enjoy yourselves in London to your heart's content. Ooh, that was an intense guy. He left. The exit's that way. <laughs> the old Bailey, huh? Let's go get some Baileys! We are to go! We are to depart at once! Let's get the shit out of here. I'm sure I could probably examine this room, but... Fuck it. Okay, a grand storied courtroom where the major criminal trials of London are held. This is where my evaluation as attorney will take place. Let's hop in a coach and go ba doo 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 Uh, February 8th, February 18th, 9.45 AM, Old Bailey Defender Lobby! Oh, my god, I love how all these Defender Lobbies look the fucking same. They, they all have a similar theme, there's always two guards, and a door, and some sofas maybe, some chairs to chill out in, or get smashed in the head and lose your memories. And they have to do with another tutorial case. There's still 15 minutes left until the trial. We've managed to make it a time. I had no idea coaches couldn't run so fast. I thought I was going to bite my tongue off. 
Or must we have a line from the stories of Sherlock Holmes? Mm. Smack that book! Good coachman, an extra giddy for you if you get us there in five minutes. A coach may have been offered a similar incentive considering how fast we were going. Having a pay in exchange for a near-death experience doesn't really feel like a fair trade. <laughs> However, we did arrive before the beginning of the trial, yes? Yeah. So we're not even gonna have any time to investigate, really. You're right. I must say, though, this is quite strange. We should have been able to meet with the defendant once we arrived. I've spoken with the bailiffs, but the defendant is nowhere to be found. Is he in, like, holding somewhere? So this is the old Bailey's defendant lobby. How quaint. Saying the matter in our huddle? The atmosphere here is so tense. So different from our own country's Supreme Court. This feeling is the crushing anxiety of someone who's about to be judged. I can recognize this since I just experienced it myself not too long ago. I'm sure it's a feeling of deep hopelessness. Um. Oh, bye, you two over there. Uh. Oh my goodness, look at this gentleman here. The top hat. You came all the way here. I can tell you two must have your own fair share of troubles. N huh? Oh, it was impassive, almost blank faces bring to mind the people of the Orient. Um, the two of us came from Japan. Oh, yes, yes, I understand. Well, say no more then. So, how much would it be? Well, we're just... Oh, no, no. I understand fully. I can sympathize with your situation. Oh, the despair of being in a foreign land with nowhere to eat or sleep, and penniless too. Right, it's true that we haven't really decided on a place to stay, but... Is this who we're defending? That's alright. Anyway, 1,000 guineas. Don't say a word, my friend. Take them. Okay. One, 1,000 guineas? 1,000 guinea pigs, that's a lot of guinea pigs! What's the matter, Suzuto? You were really loud just now. I like money. 1,000 guineas would be... Except to erect a mansion in the wealthiest neighborhoods of Tokyo. What? <gasps> This is nothing. Despite appearances, I am prepared for unexpected troubles. I have enough assets in reserve to buy London two, or perhaps even three times over. Jesus Christ. What kind of unexpected troubles are you imagining? A anyway, we can't simply accept that much money. Whoa, whoa, it just hit me in the face with that coin. Ow! Of course, I'm not just handing this money over to you for free. I have just one simple request. Huh? Oh, no, honestly. It really is quite embarrassing for me to say this, but... You see, my trial is about to begin. Ah, uh, yep. Oh, it's you. Therefore, I have, a, I have a proposal. I would request that you stand by my side in court. As my attorney, yes. Huh? B but we... Oh, no, 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 no. It'll be fine. All I need is for you to stand, just stand there. After all, at this rate... My trial will proceed without the need of an attorney. I should have known. What the Lord Chief Justice said was true after all. Excuse me, to pardon me, but could you please possibly be the defendant of this trial? Oh, my, not my mind. Who could it be? You do not know of me? Me, the great celebrity of London. Right, you see, we only just arrived in London this morning. I mean, come on, man, do we look fucking British to you? Now, uh, I see. I suppose that does make sense. Over near Hyde Park, there's a second public park which I find rather beautiful. A park, sir? Yes, Magoondal Park. In spring, lovely flowers bloom, and the, the birds sing. It was born for my humble donations, you see. What? You mean you funded the park? A capital where smiles never cease. That is my dream. I, Carlstein Magoondle, will never fail to fight for that ideology. Okay. He's trying to come across as a good Samaritan here. Someone who's incredibly wealthy. Huh? That's amazing. Honestly, oh, so you're incredibly admirable. And despite all my generosity, to call me, me, Carlstein Magoondle, of all people, a criminal, the almighty London police are but a shadow of the former glory. Don't you agree? Oh, there he goes. Now he starts showing us your colors. No! I don't want to be a murder suspect! No! Huh. 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 He's hyperventilating now. <laughs> and, 
any rate, Naruhodo. <laughs> Susie Tail, I think you're taller than he is. Shall we introduce ourselves while the defendant is busy hyperventilating? <laughs> Let's do that. <laughs> Mr. Goonal, sir, the truth is, we traveled to this great British Empire to London so that we could study the law. As law exchange students. <laughs> And if you have no attorney, if you'd like, maybe we could be of assistance. Well, yes, haven't we been discussing that very favor? Stand by my side and you shall receive thousand guineas! Says that, but something feels strangely off about this. It does seem like he's. He wants me to go up there and not say anything, just stand there? Mmm. Oh, he's probably thinking about buying off the judge, right? That's that's probably what it is. He's trying to. He's gonna probably go up there and maybe try to bribe him. Oh, yes, I understand. Huh? Perhaps this is what you're thinking right now. This fishy Briton won't stop bragging about all his money. If he has so much money, why doesn't he have a competent defense lawyer? Naturally, the suspicious Briton is, without a doubt, guilty. Isn't that right? Uh, well, you see... Uh... <laughs> no way! You saw right through me! Yes, that's exactly what I'm thinking! Oh, my! After all, you're still very rich, but not a single person will bother to help you? Obviously, you must have done it! <laughs> See, right to his face. Wow! Ballsy, dude. Th that's quite the bold accusation you're making there, my good oriental friend. It's your idea. Uh, huh? I I'm, I'm very sorry! You see, I'm not yet accustomed to English due to a lack of practice. Compliments and insults got mixed up somehow. If you ask me, those insults felt too coherent to be con simply considered an accident. Ah, uh, I'm really, really sorry. <laughs> <laughs> well, I wouldn't fault you for thinking that anyway. But I must say, I am honestly curious. Why don't you have an attorney yet? It is because of the bringer of death, the Grim Reaper of the Old Bailey. What? Oh, I see your cray cray. There we go. The Grim Reaper? Seriously? That is the name of the press is given to Lord B Barack Van Zeeks, and he is this trial's prosecutor. Barack Van Zeeks? Does the prosecutor really kill people? For those he prosecutes, they say, the Reaper has come to collect his due. Oh, oh dear. I feel underqualified for this. And so, to this day, in the court of the death bringer, the number of defendants who have lived is zero, not a single one. Wh what are you saying? Then, suddenly, no lawyer remains who would be willing to stand up against the Grim Reaper himself. Oh. That, oh, okay. That, that's really why. So we're going against, going against British Edward. Edward here. <laughs> Pretty much. It would be appropriate to call him a legend of the old Bailey, I'd wager. Lord Barack Van Zietz. He must be a truly outstanding prosecutor. No, that's not quite. Quite right. Perhaps it would be more accurate to say he is cursed instead. C cursed? What exactly does that mean? Defend it! It is attorney! It is I, British Larry, that is just like regular Larry. Get in here! It's time for the tri trial to begin! Make your way to the Crown Court at once! What does a British Larry sound like? It is time for the trial to begin! Make your way to the Crown Court at once! I saw of a British Larry! Attorney, they need me? Oh, the time finally approaches. Well now, I'll be counting on you. Uh, but... I, I don't even know anything about the case! On top of that, Mr. Magundo, we haven't even finished talking! Until the moment you two arrived, I've been prepared for the worst. Huh? Without an attorney, I knew I would have to defend myself all alone. Standing as your own attorney. But then you appeared before me. What's more, you are a scholar of law. This cannot be a coincidence. One might even call it fate. I beg of you, please, do not abandon me. Even now, I don't know a single thing about the case or the defendant. That's right, this is what Phoenix does all the time, right? Just go in there, mix shit up. I do know one thing. Right now, I can't turn my back and leave this man behind. Now, Hodo. 
would stand to be judged in court without a weapon to fend for himself. I'm sure Soki would be the first to jump to his aid. Just suck it! Hatane, what, what are you doing? If you don't arrive at the Crown Court in time, you will not be allowed into the courtroom! Shut up, Rich Larry! Understood. We'll be there immediately. This is where it begins. My first trial in the Great British Empire. Isogi, watch over me! Just watch what I can accomplish now! I'm gonna get a 2 big continue, aren't I? Or am I? Maybe not. Oh, no, okay, we're still going. I was like, this is gonna be an awkward place to end it here. Well, you still, you still call it an investigation, though. This, this section. Um, February 18th, 10 a.m., Old Bailey Crown Car. Oh, what the hell? Is that a jury? So this is the Crown Court of the British Empire, the Old Bailey itself. In the courts of Japan, I can feel the weight of this court's court of this court's history. The smell of Kali about this room is more than worst you ever could. No matter where you travel, the feeling never differs when a man's fate hangs in the balance. I think it is actually a jury in the front. By the way, Naruhoto might ask you something. Y yes, what is it? God, I'm not! I'm very nervous! Your eyes are darting all about the room again, just like before. I know, I haven't learned anything, really. Should have kept on that cape and that cool hat. I know, I should have left it on. It would look way, way cooler if my eyes were darting around like a crazy psycho. There's not much I can really do about that. It's just my game face, man. Oh my god! Oh my god, it's, it's fucking Dracula! Oh my god, and also Santa Claus. Oh my goodness! In the name of our majesty, the queen, we declare this court now in session. Oh, this is my British judge. <laughs> this is actually working better than I thought it would. <laughs> wow. Dude, that guy look, he looks like fucking Santa Claus. Who knew that Santa was also the English judge? Can't keep a mother flipping judge down, boy. The trial of Cosmi Magundo will now commence. I ask prosecution and defense, have you fully prepared your cases? Oh my god almighty. <laughs> wow, okay. Uh you yeah, you look like you look like Dracula, the way you're holding yourself up like that. Oh boy. Alright, well um Van Seeks that, that doesn't sound like it would be English. Okay, I decided to look it up because just to check and see if he, he actually is of English descent and he is, so okay. Um The prosecution is ready. I think that might work. Something kind of smoother bass sounding. The prosecution is ready. He must be the Grim Reaper of the Old Bailey. I can certainly feel a dark aura, as if he really could reap someone's someone's life. He's got a scythe under there. You Japanese attorney, do you have trouble understanding English? Uh, oh, uh, sorry, I just wasn't focused. Being asked if my argument is ready right now, but... I'm not exactly in any situation to say we're ready. I don't even have anything in my fucking car record! Except for this dumb armband. Thanks, Asogi. Oh my god, he's got a sword too. You're pretty cool looking though, dude. You're like a Castlevania character. I like that expression of yours, Japanese boy. Trepidation, fear, unease. As you desperately stifle these emotions, you cling to your false illusion of courage to face me. It is an expression of recklessness. Quite fitting for one whose fate is already sealed. Ah, I'm so tense, my limbs are starting to feel numb. I think I might work for him. I don't know. You guys can let me know. Defendant Cross Knee Bagundo. Yes. You are on trial and suspected of murder. If you are declared guilty, you will be put to death. You will be leaving with such an important trial to a Japanese man. Are you absolutely sure he's Japanese? Look at him. He can barely see me with his squinty little eyes! That's incredibly racist, Your Honor. I know, but fuck you! I have always believed that we must give opportunity to the young, you see. Even if the young in this case are two exchange students from a tiny eastern nation. I have the, must have the courage to boldly entrust my fate to the weak without fear. That is precisely what our proud British, great British Empire chivalrous spirit is all about! Oh, that's how we're going to! Our le Latin celebrity is truly a brave man. He already 25,000 passes the government recently. 
Mummy, I want to go play with Magundo Park. Pierce, our good audience supports Mr. Magundo. That does help our case greatly. He really has a way with words, doesn't he? But even then, nobody else would stand alongside him as his defense. Whatever. Very well, defendants. You have an admirable outlook. And now, are you all prepared as well? Accessible citizens chosen by the capital. What the fuck? Oh my god. Oh no. What? Oh, they are jurors. Oh fuck, each of these guys has a voice too? Oh, that's a bitch. Oh no, that's not gonna work well, is it? No, oh, yes, I mean, I've been mean, long ready to hand down punishment to the evil scoundrels. Allow me to dispose of the rubbish as per my master's orders. Ha! Bad luck for you guys to run to us. Okay, she doesn't say anything. Great. You're not saying anything either. Great. That fuck is gonna say something. Yeah, it's cold in here. <laughs> oh, yes, Daddy. Quite prepared. I'm just knitting these mittens for my grandchild. So we actually get jurors this time. Is it actually different every time? Like every case, I wonder? Our huddle, these people must be. The jurors. They don't have this system in Japan. That's cool. So, uh, that, that's unique and interesting and and actually more like our system you know our regular american uh, court system cool i'm actually curious i'm real excited to see how this is gonna uh, evolve yes indeed in the great british empire's courts have verdict is decided by the judge and these six jurors the just decides based purely on the law the, ju the jurors decide based on their consensus the judgment is passed on the defendant based on these two points of view but how did the jurors render a verdict to begin with well, I'm sure. That will naturally come to light as we proceed through this trial. <laughs> yeah, naturally. I just didn't know these things. Lord Bar Barack von Zeeks. Yes, my lord. How many years has it been since you cast aside the courtroom and your prestige with it? Is the title of Grim Reaper truly worth being called prestige? But alas, I believe it has been five years. And yet you have returned to stand at the prosecutor's bench once again. Is there something you're anticipating from this trial? Huh, interesting. Wow, do you look cool as shit? I will leave that to your imagination, my lord. Wow, I'm actually whipping out more voices than I thought I capable of here for these guys. This Brooding Grim Reaper fellow cast out the court for five years. The train's a legend. Wow, okay. Why? Just why does revival have to be in a day of all days? Okay, so he cast aside the court and he's come back from the dead. Narahodo, don't hang your head like that. And he'll be a bit rusty? Court welcomes your return. Now I must request your opening statements regarding this case. Acknowledged. As you all know, this case couldn't be more trivial. As we all know, except for the defense. So decreed. The incident transpired the three days ago at around 10 p.m. The victim is thrice fired mortar, a bricklayer by trade. Th thrice fired? <laughs> Was he fired thrice? I'm not even being coy with that one. A skilled man indeed. I've hoped that the bricks he fired have never broken. Oh, I got stabbed as shit. The victim was found dead in an omnibus mid-transit. It is believed that the cause of death is a stab wound from a large knife. Here is the autopsy report from the yard's forensic doctors. Very well. The court will accept it as evidence. Okay, let's have a little look-see at it ourselves. And that as well. Yeah, I've got evidence now. Okay. Uh, port from the corner. Death caused by a knife wound to the gut. One, only one entry wound. Cause of death was internal bleeding. Uh, subsequently died of a hemorrhagic shock due to internal bleeding. Between 10 and 11 p.m. 15th of February. Brooklyn. Alleged, alleged age of 54. Thrice fired more. Okay. Can I examine this too? Oh, I can. Just something on the inside there. 
I see the attorney's name embroidered here. Name the art band's owner, Kazuma Sogi. Kazuma seemed to be entirely fixated on his exchange trip to the British Empire. Agreed. The truth that he was searching for must have been here in Britain. But he lost his life before we could ever find that truth. His fervor and his hope still lie within this armband. I can feel it. Feel his hope burning within me. Oh, there's oh, there's the chrono badge. It's on the front of it. This pair of scales. One could call it a symbol of an ace attorney. Yes, that's correct. Scales represent the idea that everyone is equal in the eyes of the law. So there's a caution that one must, mustn't must enter the court with bias in their heart. But it's a symbol of defense, defense attorney specifically. I think it would work better if the scales lean toward not guilty instead. <laughs> that certainly is a unique opinion. It defeats the entire purpose, stupid! Okay. Crime scene photo. That is indeed a knife in his belly. There is one more. I wish to present this evidence as well. Oh god, a pair of o bloody OJ gloves. Why, this is... Blood! They're, these are stained with blood! Exactly. When the police arrived at the scene, the defendant was found wearing those very gloves at the time of arrest. What? Aw, oh, man. Did you tell me I get stuck with OJ? Oh wait, never mind. OJ got off, remember guys? I bet they're gonna make an FX series about this when I'm done. There was blood on Mr. McGoodle's gloves. Mr. McGoodle! The court will accept these as crucial pieces of evidence. What other gloves the defendant was wearing when the crime occurred? There's blood stain on the right hand. Seriously? Alright, let's have a little look-see in it. I spy with my little eye. This really is blood, huh? What an awful thing to be faced with on our first day in London. Come this far. There's no point in griping now. Hey, I just remembered. Mr. Magudo's right-handed, right? Right? A short while ago, he was toying with a coin in his right hand. Yeah, well, he was left-handed. My hand is soaked with blood. Does it really matter which hand it is? Yes. Okay, maybe not. Uh, okay. I am not seeing really anything else stands out about these gloves, though. Is there some hidden shit inside? No? Is there candy? We're being driven to a corner from the very start again! Let's continue. According to the coachman's testimony, when the incident occurred, there were only two guests within the coach. Only two? Clearly, one of them was, dece was the deceased bricklayer, Mr. Mortar. And the only other person was... The defendant, Cosney Magundo. Oh, that's fucking point, too. Just slowly... Mm -mm, yes, that is certainly rather decisive. Do you have anything to say, defendant? Well... I'm rich. Yes, of course. I truly have no memory of having done anything of the sort. Mr. Magundo, you dickhead! Indeed, I did ride that omnibus on the day of the murder. Whenever I ride in a coach, I always end up falling asleep. So you mean to claim that you are sleeping? The swaying of the coach puts me at ease, you see, when I open my eyes. The cold body of a strange la lay before me. Oh, a stranger lay before me. It's human nature to try and help someone fallen before you, don't you think? So I reached out my hands to pay, pay no mind to the blood that would stain my gloves. So that must have been when those gloves were stained. I regret to say this, but the facts that point to the celebrity's guilt do not end here, nor end there. What? There's still more evidence? When the bricklayer was stabbed by the murder weapon, the moment of his death was seen by multiple witnesses. Whoa! Order! Order! Order in the court! When the incident transpired, only the victim and defendant were in the coach. Not only that, but when the crime was committed, multiple witnesses were present. This is no longer just decisive. One would call this evidence lethal. Mm -hmm. Have you been a good boy for Christmas, Taraholo? 
I've been a real good boy, Santa. God, you're getting cold again. <laughs> Damn it. I just can't win, can I? I understand the situation quite well. We should first listen to the witness who saw the incident unfold. As you wish. <laughs> now, bring forth the witnesses. Ah, uh, titty sprinkles. Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh. Three of them. You may begin, witnesses. State your names and occupations. Oh god. Oh god. Oh, I have to really whip out of the British chair, man. <laughs> I saw one, someone commented last time, so I was like, Say goodbye to your regular voice, Nico. I'm a British, Nico. Yeah, I am seeing what you're talking about. We're, God, they're throwing a lot of people at me here. Um, I, yeah, everyone calls me Be Beto, yes. Yeah, I work as a coachman, driving only bus in East's Ed. Ask a fair play. I work as a bank clerk in this city. Um, Adam Lady first. I'm a milliner. I make hats for men. First, allow me to verify. At around 10 p.m., three days ago, all of you were witnesses to the event that transpired in the omnibus during transit. Is that correct? Y yes. Indeed. But of course. And we shall move on. I order you to testify. So, pick the truth of what you saw during this incident. Tell Santa, have you been naughty, boy? What is this testimony? Oh, no, it's all British looking. All right, what we witnessed? It was the last trip that night. There were a few passengers, so I remember it well. Yeah, it's so cold in here. The defendant and the victim were both sitting within the coach. But then, the defendant suddenly stabbed them in the gut with a knife. Yes, he was indeed stabbed in the gut. I ended up screaming in shock. Astonished by that scream, I started to stop the horses. And then I, I well, I saw it too. Did you turn around? Mm, truly a clear testimony. You are correct. Clear is an apt word. For the incident which unfolded in that omnibus was seen clearly by these witnesses. Uh, excuse me, may I say something? What is it? It's about this testimony. To be honest, I'm having difficulty wrapping my head around how anything about that is clear. Whatever do you mean? This incident occurred within a moving omnibus, correct? Yes, surely. That point has been made abundantly clear by now. Then... Yeah! Just how exactly these two witnesses happened to see the crime unfolding? It's a moving coach! They couldn't possibly have seen what happened inside. Ah! Good Good grief. Good grief. I had heard stories claiming the culture of this oriental island was quite behind the times, but... It is rather incredible for you to be this ignorant of the omnibuses running through London. Huh? I have to ask, Japanese boy, have you ever boarded an omnibus? Yeah, I have not. I mean, after all, we just arrived in London this morning. Very well. You would do well to look upon it with your own eyes, the very scene of the incident. What do you mean, sir? What do you mean? The very scene of the incident? A horse-drawn coach is able to move. I suppose you should be able to understand that much, at least. Well, yes. For this trial, we had the omnibus moved into the old Bailey. Well, uh, ah! the, the omnibus was brought here? Bailiff. What do you need there, prosecutor? It's me, British Kameda. Wow, I sound really different when I put a British accent on a Canada's voice, don't I? I, like, literally don't even sound like him, haha. <laughs> Except when I do my laugh. But it's me, you can you can totally believe it's really me and my crazy love for all things hopeful. Yes, that's right, British Canada, instead of his obsession with bagels, he's obsessed with crumpets. <laughs> Are crumpets truly the most pinnacle of hope? Unlike the dastardly muffins, truly the pinnacle of despair. <laughs> Oh my god. I love being British Kameda. <laughs> Guys, just, just, like, seriously, I'm trying, I'm like doing my, I'm doing my Kameda voice, 
but with a British accent. It doesn't sound anything fucking like him, does it? Hi, this is regular Kameda. This is British Kameda. Anyway, what do you need, Governor? For God's sake, stop talking. Bring in the omnibus. You've got it there, Prosecutor Pants. Seriously, stop talking. What the hell? They brought the whole thing in here. So this is the omnibus. I can't believe they brought the omnibus in. British courts really are something else. Yes, with two benches mounted to the top, this coach can transport eight passengers at most. Wow. Oh, yeah, look at that. Four individuals can be seated in the interior. Similarly, there are four seats on the roof. If London sizing is your desire, then ride upon the roof seats of the omnibus. I feel kind of unsafe up there. They have seatbelts. Any child of London would tell you this. <laughs> Standing at the fucking witness stand like it's there to testify. Incidentally, the skylight present on the roof, one may choose to peer into the interior of the coach. Ah. Uh. From the skylight. Oh! So, the truth finally becomes clear to you, too. At the time of the incident, these two witnesses were seated on the roof seats of the omnibus. It was from there they witnessed the incident within the coach. They saw through the skylight of the omnibus. Do you understand now? So, that's what was going on. Even so, I've never heard of the scene of the crime itself presented as evidence on oh, my hair! Hey, I'm proud of my bald head, all right? You should be proud of it too, Santa. Bald is beautiful after all. Shut up, Japan, California judge. Bitch, you wanna fight me? You wanna die today, British judge? Bring it on, motherfucker. Fine, I summon forth the powers of Turkey. Give me your demon power. I summon forth the power of grilled pheasants. Give me your demon power. <laughs> what the heck is going on? <laughs> ah! Battle between judges. One bald, one also bald with the toupee on. Who will win and who will die? Nico, for the love of God, could you stop going off on your fucking fan fictions? Sorry. The vestiges of the crime committed from the, within the omnibus are still clear. Thus, it should be presented as evidence. That is the prosecution's official stance. Oh, that was an epic battle we had. Very well. Given his present state, we shall accept the proceed as evidence. Crime scene. Omnibus has seats eight passengers. There are four seats inside and four on the roof. Okay. Can't believe it. Mercy itself has become evidence. Wild. Can I actually examine it? This whole big. Oh my god, I can. What the fuck is that? Look at that! Phoenix Wright Omnibus? Uh, excuse me. Um, what? What? They just stuck that shit on there for kicks, didn't they? What? What even? Is there's a phoenix right here somewhere? What the heck? I do not understand what that's doing there. We got a ladder. Now, let's tear open the door and charge in the omnibus. Uh, no matter how enthusiastic you put it, it's still a crime scene. It's awful. I'm going in. Ah, uh, okay. I just can't look around. Oh my god! Oh, the door closed by me! Blood! This blood here would be the victims, wouldn't it? That would make sense. You look from, from here, it's visible through the skylights. It's actually interesting how they set this up, because now... Like, now, I, the, I don't really need a separate investigation section, since I can literally take the investigation, bring it to court with me, and do it there. <laughs> That's pretty cool, actually. Why would you even ever plan to stab someone in a place like this? This it occurred in the dead of night. The only light was inside the coach, so I don't think it was possible to see outside. At any rate, it seemed like this crime was very well planned. Or was it? Supposed to be advertising the World's Fair, which will be held in London in half a year. It fixed the design of the Crystal Tower, symbol of the World's Fair. Crystal Tower? Yes, I heard that it is currently under construction. Seems like the whole city's bustling with excitement before the festival. Okay. And we got... Uh, is it the Eiffel Tower of London? <laughs> it's the poster advertising... Oh, wait, now it's the same thing. Oh, hello there. 
like there's a handle attached to the seat here. Okay, we see stuff. It's filled with tools used for omnibus maintenance. A horse feed trough, a blanket tools for repairing wheels and driving horses. Seems to function as a trunk for the driver to store his equipment. I can't see much space for passengers to place their belongings. Well, it would be a bit troublesome to open and close it constantly throughout the day. Is there anything of significance in here? No? Skylight! Skylight's surprisingly large. Is it large enough to witness the entire crime through it, I believe? I can't seem to find a handle. So opening the skylight from the inside of the coach must not be possible. I think that's all that's in here. Very well, that's the light from the coach. I'm gonna stay in here and avoid having to go out there and try to defend this guy. It's the roof seating area. It's been so fun to experience the scenery of London streets from up from here. I wouldn't even want to ride out lo at, around London up here in the dead of winter. I bet you having to pay money for it. Hmm. I do see your point. It could freeze both body and soul. You know, just for a moment. You mentioned riding atop a horse on a cold winter night came to mind. It's beginning to sound a lot more morbid than pleasant tour. Yeah, really. Um, okay. I think that's everything. Can't seem to go. I can't seem to look under it at all. Wow, the Great British Empire never fails to impress. Either way, we should take this chance to inspect the omnibus inside and out. Which I already did. As for you, attorney, I order you to carry out your cross-examination. <laughs> As if there's anything to be in to participate from a British cross-examination by a Japanese person. God, we are racist as shit in this game. Ah, <sighs> I've got my sword now. I'm ready for anything. It's my first cross-examination in British courthouse. <sighs> Woo! Oh, God! Smack my butt cheeks. It's time to muster up all your resolve. Read us in our hodo. Okay, bring it on, uh, Baron Bon Ding Dong. It's not my name. <laughs> All right. Well, this actually seems like probably a good place to end things here for now. Oh, my God. Holy shit. So many new characters I had to find voices for. I wonder if it, Holmes is even going to show up in this case, actually. I mean, we're just kind of jumping into it. Man, man, I guess there might be a point where we actually have to leave again to go investigate. It's actually off to a really interesting start. I'm, I'm already, like, super, super invested. Um, just brand new setting, like... The fact that you know we had the stagecoach, so it, which is our evidence as well as the scene of the crime, that's really cool. Uh, we got the jurors. This new guy, this new prosecutor, looks really cool too. Like I'm super excited, honestly. Um, and I hope you guys are as well. If you are, please do a like and a favorite. It really does help me out. And subscribe if you're not ready to become Piggy Penguin. Boy, this LP, where the days are always sunny and the vids are always funny. And as always, guys, till next time, stay classy!